So uh, the first thing I would recommend is that the deal should be like organically sourced. What I mean by that is you don't need a lot of operators in your life. You just need a handful of really good ones. So what ends up, and the way you kind of filter out the, the bad ones is it shouldn't be like, oh, someone hit you up on LinkedIn and, and was like, hey, can we talk 15 minutes? I have this deal and I want to pitch to you. You know, there's zero value in that. What you end up doing is the way I kind of did it is for years, I would get on quarterly calls with investors in my network where every single quarter we just catch up and, hey, how's it going? We know each other's families. We know everything. And then you hear the same names of really good operators start repeating. And that's how I started actually either reached out or they would actually make introduction because they're already an investor. So when one investor usually introduces another investor to the operator, it's kind of like, like a, that relationship is being transferred over right to the next person. Uh, so, you know, through, through two, three years of networking with other actual investors, you kind of start saying, okay, these are the kind of the best investors, uh, best operators I want to deal with. Um, writing the book actually really helped me because what ended up happening is I needed to reach out to these operators and get their help with the book, especially the Q&A section. And that was a huge litmus test for me because how responsive they were, how much effort they put into it, and there was zero compensation on their end, zero. It was like they did it, they, they made the time, um, they, they probably took out two, three hours of their lives, and you know some of these guys are running 10, 10 to 20,000 apartment buildings, and they still took their time and stuff like that. So those operators that were in my book, seeing their thought process, see how willingness they were helped, those guys were given like high priority priority for me. And a lot of my investments that I make are from those operators that are actually in that book. And just a combination of doing that, both those things between using your network and, you know, seeing what kind of material they're actually putting out. And if you can relate to that material, I think goes a long way into potentially investing with them in the future.